the book of Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. Let's get to verse 16. When the wicked are multiplied, your aggressions increaseth, but the righteous shall see their fall. I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to Kohaloyim, by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, and Rechakotas, by Tham. Double honors to the apostles and to the elders of great millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim, across the four corners of the earth, which is true for faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwat and the Akim out there listening and learning, or willing to. This is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations appearing like the other nations by whom subscribe to this truth to you. I say shalom. See so y'all what's up. Brother from, uh, from the Cleveland Church um, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and through the power of y'all watching me out shot. I was in search of an article. Well, it, was, it popped up on my um, news break art, um, app. And um, it's like, you know, the elite being funny. You know, it's like, you know, because, or it's just spiritual. Everything is spiritual before it's physical anyway, but is you know, at the end of the day, you know, we talk about this um, transhumanist agenda. We talk about um, the, the, the basically the um, destruction and devaluing of the dollar bill. You know, and how they're sh switching this current system over to a digital system, and you know, you get something like this. You know, so this is an article that popped up on one news break and says you'll be injecting robots into your bloodstream to fight disease soon. I can't wait to see what the anti-vaxxers think of this. So this could be a, a commentary. Who's to say? But that's why I literally started with the Proverbs 29 and 2. You know, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear of rule, the people mourn. And right now, you got the wicked pretty much showing that they're in rulership. So, you know, and that's why you get a lot of things being just forced upon the people. And, you know, you know the morale of this place is at an all-time low. So, um... And it also in verse 16, Proverbs 29, 16, it says, uh, when the wicked are um, bare of rule, transgressions increase. He tells you in the book of um, Maccabees about how when, um, you know, basically when uh, Alexander the Great, you know, his kingdom was split up between his generals, literally the, um, you know, sin or transgressions multiplied in the earth. So, you know, and that's because these Edomites actually gained power. I'm going to read a little bit of this article because, you know, I'm at the plantation, but through the spirit, I'm trying to, you know, because although this is the year to turn up, y'all, I'll watch me, I'll turn it up. We still need to be more diligent than ever, you know, and I, I know brothers catch a hell, you know what I mean? I watched how the Lord turned up on me, but like I said, again, he um, talks about um, um, being diligently seeking the Lord um, to make your calling on an election sure, roughly paraphrased, so. It says, what if there was a magical robot that could cure any disease? Don't answer that. It's a stupid question. Everyone knows there's no one machine that could do that. But maybe a swarm made up of tens of thousands of tiny autonomous microbots could. That's the premise laid out by the proponents of nanobot medical technology. In science fiction, a big idea usually involves creating tiny metal robots via some sort of magic adjacent miniaturization technology. Luckily for us, the reality of nanobite tech is infinitely cooler. A team of researchers from Australia have developed a mind-blowing prototype that could work as a proof of concept for the future of medicine called Autonomous Molecular Machines. The new nanotechnology ensures the traditional visage of microscopic medical, metal automatons in favor of a more natural approach. Inspired by biology, we design a we design and to synthesize a DNA origami receptor that exploits multi-violent interactions to form stable complexes that are also capable of rapid subunit exchanges. DNA nanobots are synthetic nanometer sized machines made of DNA and proteins. They are autonomous because DNA itself is a self-assembling machine. Our natural DNA does not only carry, our natural DNA not only carries the code of our biology in it, our natural DNA not only carries the code or biology is written in, it also knows when to execute. That's part of the reason why, for example, your left and right feet tend to grow at roughly the same rate. These particular nanobites can transfer more than just DNA information. Theoretically speaking, they could deliver any conceivable combinations of proteins throughout a given biological system. To put in simpler terms, we should be able to eventually program swarms of these nanobots to hunt down bacteria, viruses, and cancer cells inside of our bodies. Each member of the swarm could carry a specific protein, and when they're found, 
a bad cell, they could assemble their protons in NF2 or formation designed to eliminate the threat. And this is all, you know, speculation. This is this man playing a mad scientist. This is this man um, being a devil. Because look at what he did with this whole, you know, um, CV-19, this whole um, Maxine, this jab, literally has affected the world. You have people that are, you know, immune systems are compromised based on taking that technology, you know. You know, um, because basically that was a new, the RNA technology, that was a new way that they actually came up with um, vaccine distribution. You know, that was a, they created a new way to actually administer vaccines. So um, if you want to check this out more, you know, you know, this is the article. I'm going to, you know, um, copy it because I usually copy the articles and put them for title. So you could, I mean, like put that as a title of my video so you can just type in title and you'll find an article but um saying that i'll say this that's why the scriptures talk about who are thou to declare thy statutes because on one hand he wants to be literally um you know the people of the scriptures he want to be us you know the so-called blacks hispanics native americans similar indians west indians and haitians the true israelites and on the other hand he want to be the most high god when you go into the book of ezekiel um it talks about that the book of ezekiel chapter 20 uh, It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 28. So lucky like for this music. I'm at work and, you know, these stupid ass niggas, these cool ass niggas, you know, they contend with Esau giving them some music. <laughs> they, 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 they think this job live because you got some music to, to dance to while you bust your fucking back in this. Hate this fucking place. If this is Ezekiel, chapter 28, verse uh, two, son of man, say unto the prince of Tyrese, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because thy heart is lifted up, and thou hast said, I am in power. I sit in the seat of Yahweh, and the or I sit in the seat of the power, because when you go into the word God, it simply means a power, Allah, in the midst, midst of the seas, meaning in the midst of the people, he sits as a God. And, you know, because of his technology in the book of Revelations, it tells you about the um, miracles. Um, basically, you know, um, he's going to perform miracles, roughly paraphrased, um, but he, he, he's able to do miracles through his technology. And, the, and you're seeing that with this whole, you know, nanobot technology inside your, your body. So one day they hope to actually rep, like, you know, when you see movies where, you know, a, a person or a soldier gets damaged or, 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 or injured and then, you know, the body replicates and um, creates a new arm or leg or whatever. It says, I sit in the seat of power in the midst of the seas, yet thou art a man and not power, though thy so like it, though thou set thine heart as the heart of Yahweh. First three, behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. So, you know, it's labor. You know, it tells you in the scriptures, um, the, the children um, of this world are um, wiser than the children of light. You know what I mean? Because Esau Edom was, has been given knowledge, but it tells you in the Apocrypha that knowledge of wickedness is not your wisdom. You know, and it will actually be this destru destruction is downfall because when you go into... Um, Literally, um, you know, this technology with the ICBMs, the internal intercontinental ballistic missiles, though, 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 those, those, um, those weapons are you are going to be used for its destruction. Uh, so, um, So I'm going to end with 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Um, I'm going to start at verse 3. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And that son of man um, being revealed is Esau Edom. You know, um, right now you got these elites making statements like, uh -huh. We should eat um, lit, lit, littles, lentils, like um, <laughs> like the elders say. That's how you know Esau, Edom is still upset about that for giving up his birthright, you know, um, and, eat, and let your, your your dogs die. So if they think you could let your dogs die, well, these are the same men that's, you know, these are the same people that said black lives matter because they look at a dog as worth more than a so-called black man. 
who opposed of and exalted himself above all that is called Yahweh. So he exalted himself. He thinks he's above the Most High God. You know, when, you know, you didn't create yourself. You know, the scriptures talk about how can the um, clay tell the potter what it is. You know what I mean? How is the clay better than the man that formed it? You know what I mean? You know, we are weapons in the Most High's hands. It tells you in the book of um, Jeremiah about um, the Most High, that Esau being the hammer of the earth. And um, it talks about... Um, you know, in the book of Romans, or how he, he's the most high sword. It even tells you in the book of Jeremiah how the most high is going to make us his battle axes and weapons of war. You know, because the most high ruled through the kingdom of man and he uses people at times to actually, you know, um, take out kingdoms and, and, and take over kingdoms. It says, who opposed of it and exalted himself above all that is called Yahweh or that is worshiped so that he as Yahweh set up in the temple of Yahweh, showing himself that he is a power. I'm um, skipping. Verse 7, for the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Verse 8, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh shall, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Verse 9, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. And that's going into his technology. And who, it tells you that the most high, you know, just like we are the children of the most high, you know, um, Satan has children, which is these um, red Hebrew Edomites. You know, he's a physical representation of Satan on the planet Earth. So um, I'm going to end the lesson here. You know, if you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole, Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bashem, or you will with or you will be destroyed. And with that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to Kua Loyim, La Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba Hashem, Rachakodas, Patham, double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwath and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this was edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations appearing like the other nations. But subscribing to this truth to you, I say Shalom. Until next time, I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, Shalom. And my wife, Lava Ball, Shalom.